Hi, I'm Christopher Kasich, Director of Sales and Culinary Manager for CADCO LTD. And today, I'd like to go over a quick oven maintenance video for our XAF series and our OV series of ovens. The first thing you want to do is unplug your oven. This is no matter whether you have a 120, 220, or 220 locking oven. The second thing you want to do is you want to check to make sure that the oven is cooled down. The easiest way to do that is just feel right above the door. If the oven's cool to the touch, you're good to go to start cleaning. Now to start the cleaning process, what we want to do is remove the door. This applies to both the XAF and the OV series ovens. The first thing we want to do is open the door and locate the locking pins on the door hinge. The locking pins are located right here. What we want to do is take a small flathead screwdriver and pull the locking pin forward toward with the door. That releases the hinge. We want to repeat both right and left hand side. Now, for removing the door, just lift the door back up to the closed position and allow the hinge to kick off. Once the hinge is kicked off, the door will be released. After your door is removed, what we want to do is we want to remove all the internal shelves and shelf supports. It's okay if you don't have any shelves in the oven, you can just re remove the, the shelf supports without having to remove the shelves. The rack supports are supported by two thumb screws on either side of the oven. If your thumb screws are hand tightened, you can very easily remove them. But if they are a little hard, what I like to do is take a pair of pliers and just simply loosen them. Once the rack supports and the racks have been removed, you can place them into a three-bay sink or a dishwasher. Once all your oven racks are removed, you can clean the inside of the cooking chamber. What I like to do is take a little non-caustic oven safe cleaner, spray in the bottom, sides, and also the top. If you have any baked on items, what I like to do is let the oven cleaner sit for about four to five minutes and then wipe down the interior. The fan and element design of CADCO ovens has a unique feature and that is a back baffle. The back baffle is secured by four screws. If there's any food particles or items that might get stuck behind that back baffle, you can remove all four of those screws remove the baffle to access the fan and element. Now also too is a good time to check the condition of your door gasket. The door gasket on the XAF series is a channel gasket which means it presses into a channel that's formed on the outside of the oven. To replace the gasket remove the old gasket Take the new gasket, match up your corners, and simply press into the channel. There's a slight difference between the XAF door gasket and the OV door gasket. Where the XAF was a channel gasket, the OV series is actually a clip gasket placed in by tension via metal clips but it is just as easy to replace. First of all what you want to do is open your oven door, remove your old gasket by simply pulling to release the small metal clips that are on the door gasket. Once you release all four of the metal clips at each, at each corner, simply take the new gasket and replace it within the four corresponding holes. Now that you've cleaned the cooking chamber and inspected your gasket and replaced the gasket if needed, now it's time to reassemble the shelf supports and put back in the shelves. What we want to do is take one shelf support at a time and one of the thumb screws and just reverse the process of, as we did taking them out to clean the internal chamber of the oven.
Now that all four of the shelves are back in, we can reassemble the door. Reinstalling the door is just as simple as taking it off. You want to make sure that the door hinges are up in the locked positions and just slide the door hinge into the corresponding holes on the front of the oven. Make sure your door lays almost flat. Then, place your locking pins back into the upright position. On the XAF series ovens, you'll hear a light snap. On the OV series ovens, you might not hear any sort of snap, but there'll be a little bit of tension at the end. A unique feature about our XAF ovens is the removable inner door glass. The removal is done without any tools. The door glass just simply pops off for easy removal and cleaning through two spring-loaded hinges, one on the right side and one on the left side. Now you can remove the inner door glass for maintenance or for replacement. Now one of the questions that I always receive via phone or email is about spacing between ovens and other appliances. Really what we like to have with convection ovens is four, four, and two. Four on each side, four in the back, and at least two inches space when stacking ovens. If you have any questions regarding the maintenance of the XAF or the OV series ovens, you can call me on our toll-free number or you can email me at chris at cadco-ltd.com.